What's good, guys? If you could tell by the title, then you know what this video is about. Now, is it actually a 1v1? It could have been. But sadly, this is a Lions versus a Lions. But before I tell you about what happened and how it went down, I have to tell you guys what goes are on here. Also, I'm going to let you guys know I'm getting straight to the point. I'm cutting to the chase and I will simplify everything as much as possible. But you will hear me yap for a good bit. The video was originally 77 minutes long. And for you guys who don't know how long 77 minutes is, that is about an hour and 17 minutes. OK, so we have a bunch of gills here, actually, and I'm going to break it down to you as much as possible. We have Arsha, Way to the Dawn, and Defy. We have Frag, Issues, and Two Ravens. And we have Panic and Sound. That is the guilds that were placed here today. So, for you guys who don't know, Arsha, Way to the Dawn, and Defy, that's an alliance. Uh, Two Ravens, that is a wild card. They usually end up fighting anybody, but for some odd reason, they love to fight us the most. So they're always fighting some guild in our alliance. I don't know why. Uh, we also have Sound and Panic. That is an alliance. Uh, Frag. Frag is with our alliance, but not with our alliance. They have to get their own nodes. And they also, you know, got to survive on their own during Siege. Uh, they usually pull like 10 to 20 people. So my bad, guys. My, uh, my battery died. But like I was saying, uh, I think, yeah, Frag pulls 10 to 20 people, okay? So I wouldn't count that as a real Siege guild. Uh, so don't be like, oh, y'all got so many guilds. No, no, they pull 10 to 20 people. And we're not even going to get into that. Uh, Issues is a legit a stick guild. Uh, I think Dez was the GM of that back in the day, who is now or was a advisor of sound when uh, the curses and issues merge into sound, okay? So I'm guessing issues was just there to block a placement or something. Uh, and, you know, Panic and Silent Alliance, Arch Way to the Dawn, uh, Defies the Alliance. So I'm going to tell you the state of these guilds also. Uh, Arsha, Arsha is a, a siege guild. Panic, Panic is a siege guild. Sound had just got a revolt merge into them, so they were beefy. They were the guild there with the most numbers pulling over 90. Uh, Arsha pulled like 70. I think Panic pulled like 80 to 90 in between that. They, but they didn't pull as much as Sound. Sound had the most numbers. Uh, Threat ended up pulling like fucking 60 or something. Defy, 45. Uh, Way to the Dawn, 45. Uh, two Ravens, I'm not sure how many. I wouldn't even, I would probably say 50 at tops, possibly. Uh, Frag, 10 to 20. Issue, zero. So Sound instantly pushed Frag off the rip and killed them. Threat instantly pushed Issues off the rip and killed them. Now, I don't know why in the hell Threat pushed Issues when everybody in the game, even people in the territory, know that there's nobody in Issues. And even if it was, they wouldn't really put, they'll probably put the same amount as Frag if possible. So I don't know why Threat pushed them off the rip. Threat legit say to hell with what anybody says we want a fort kill. And they legit bomb rushed them off the rip and traded frag. If they would have went straight to sound, I'm pretty sure frag would have stayed alive a little bit longer. Pro they probably would have fought two ravens or something. I don't know. Uh, sound probably would have died. And Archer and Panic could have just 1v1. So, because here was supposed to be the play, in my opinion, of what my perspective and my point of view was. While you're watching this video, throughout this whole video, you will see that there's nobody else that Arsha is killing except for Panic. You will see that Arsha is at Panic base the whole entire time. You will also see that the flag was constantly being placed down and they had trouble pushing our flag. You will also see that Panic has never in this video 
push Arsha into the castle. And you will also notice, because I am doing 360s around the base, as proof that there's no other guild there except for Panic and Arsha at Panic's Fort. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to be watching the best gameplay because I know that the narrative that these people run are insane. And if anybody believe their narrative, you guys, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to disrespect you guys today. I'm going to let y'all slide. I'm going to give y'all a pass because y'all been lied to for so long because I'm not even going to talk about the present or anything future or anything ahead of this video time. Because I have so much stuff I want to upload, but I have to up this first so that I can actually progress with newer content. I don't want to I don't want to drop anything new and then have to go back to this video. But sound was was legit getting fought by half a way to the dawn, defy and threat. Now you're probably saying, hmm, why half a way to the dawn and not the whole way to the dawn? It's because, and I, I say this with no disrespect to any of the guilds, because I already said the standing of how many people they pulled. Two Ravens was constantly on Way to the Dawn's base. So Way to the Dawn couldn't focus fully on Sound. Sound was focused fully on keeping them off of their base and killing the five. Now, when I say they, I mean threat. Halfway way to the dawn in the fight. Now, keep in mind, with Threat being the strongest, the second strongest guild in the Arsha Alliance, you think they would be able to hold Threat, I mean, hold Sound off with the help of two other guilds. Well, with the, I'm going to say this also. The fight at the time, because I, I am a Defy supporter, and Defy knows I am not saying this out of disrespect. But the five is pulling 40 to 45. Way to the Dawn is pulling 40 to 45. Those two put together is one guild but split in half. You guys know if you have one guild but split in half, that's not going to work out too good. But Threat with at least 60 people should have been able to hold off a good 90 man sound at their base with the help of additional 20 plus 40 people. But you also got to keep in mind some of those guys do have to play defense as well. So the five playing defense, Threat should have been able to do more damage than they should of to sound. But keep in mind, we're eight minutes into the video and you see what, what you know, you see the content that's on your screen. Unless you're blind or unless you looked away for a quick second. Or you just don't understand what is going on because it's sped up two times. But you see that we're constantly fighting Panic. We have Panic base lock. Panic isn't pushing out. We're de annexing them. I'm diving in like a crazy insane maniac because our melees, I ain't gonna cap. Hopefully, no melee and Arsha gets mad at me because we're guilties. But no melee wanted to dive the fucking base because they thought they wasn't gonna wake up tomorrow in the real world. So I would dive in that base like any fat kid would dive a buffet. And I'm talking about just the zone with the chocolate cake, with the chocolate frosting and the marshmallows, with a double doozy cookie, the big ass chocolate chump. Ooh. I was diving the base like a fat kid loves cake, okay? And as you see, the fire is going down because Threat is playing ass. And Panic is going down because Arsha is waxing them. Now, for so long, everybody wanted to see Panic versus Arsha. Even the Panic members. The whole Arsha entirely. But we never got this. And this was actually going to be the chance that we almost had this. But Threat heard the call from the Emperor Jaleteen himself. And it was Order 66. Threat legit left Sound's base. Let Sound and a halfway CTG by some of the Panic members kill Defy. And Threat went straight to Panic base towards the end when we were, we, 
Our shirt alone had panic under 40, no, under 50%. There was at 43. Seeing that was like, oh, we just got order 66. We're going to panic space. And we're just going to fuck up y'all 1v1. And we're just going to let Sound do whatever Sound wants to do. Sound legit pushed the castle. So, we haven't got to that point yet. But we will. You will see me legit bot jump into their fucking fort. Die on purpose. Spawn at the castle and see fucking over 50 fucking white dots at our fucking fort. And then threat legit just dies. Like they're, they instantly get wiped by panic. And this is capped. This isn't you know, uncapped. This is capped. They got wiped within 10 seconds. Fully wiped. Fully blue feeded. They got... The, Threat was full red and panic thought that they was killing Arsha. Like, oh, we just blue feeded Arsha. Bitch, if you niggas could read, that shit say threat. You did not blue feed Arsha in any shape, weight, or form. You illiterally monkey motherfuckers. <sighs> Somebody in the background thinking to themselves, like, yep, Saya isn't getting partnered. And I'm okay with that. Because I, I got a visual. Of this one. I got a video for proof for one of those delusional fucks. But as I'm saying, Threat got order 66. Let Sound start free casting. And Panic and Sound just started rotating. They they legit rotated the fucking castle pushes. Like Ida Dory and the other dude who does the claps off of Jujutsu Kaisen. Just fucking teaming the fuck out of us. Jump gang 300 in us in the castle. And it, oh my god. It should have never took them that long to actually kill us in the castle. But you know they broke the gate. So you know of course. But oh my gosh. It should have never took them that long. Especially since the threat let both of those guilds rebuild. And yeah. I'm going to just let y'all guys watch the rest of it. Because I'm done talking. Threat put an order 66. After that siege they ended up joining the sacred. Uh, then you know Arsha, way to the dawn, and Defy end up catching Panic and Sounding in the desert. Arsha one v one Sound while Panic got held at bay by Way to the dawn and Defy, and Arsha beat the fuck out of Sound in a one v one forty v forty, while Panic got fucking base camp by Way to the dawn and Defy, which goes to show you that uh. We don't need threat at all. And threat was just a fucking hindrance. Goes to show you that threat can't even hold sound at bay. But wait till the dawn and panic. Could, I mean, wait till the dawn and defy could hold panic at bay. Let me guys know what you think in the comment section. Hopefully, we get a 1v1 against these guys at a siege. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you guys. Oh. Let me give you guys an update real quick of the content that I am going to be dropping. So I do have, because oh my gosh, y'all keep asking me this. I do have the Q2 rank because I do want to upload that before uh, September, you know. But I do have the Q2 rankings of the guild, top siege guilds on console. I have a montage with World coming soon with Vespertilli as well. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the name of that, but I do have a, a montage with them too. Somebody was like, oh my God, Arsha and Sacred working together. We knew they were... No, stop it. Uh, I do have a 1v1 against Sound coming out. I do have a 1v1 against Nameless at Siege coming out. Uh, rewind. 1v1 against Sound at the uh, with the new changes. Uh, Nameless 1v1 at Siege. Uh, the kill comp, somebody would ask me, like, yo, are you not dropping the kill comps tomorrow? I deleted every single footage because I thought this game was going to go to ass after the Hedel ball. So I do have to uh, pick up from where I left off with our new clips for the kill comps. It's just that it's hard to do that because each guild, even or even allies, was supposed to have a, a kill comp dedicated just to those guilds. But some of those guilds legit don't pop out at all. So it's hard to even do that. Uh, the only guilds we get to fight is Nameless and, uh, and Sacred. And this, I, I, I deleted the Sacred one. Like I said, I thought this game was going to go to shit. So I have to re-get the clips on Sacred. Uh, Nameless, I already got one on Nameless. I got one on Panic. Uh, that shit was very hard because Panic really doesn't open world PvP. Uh, sound, I don't really see Sound like that. And the only two people from there who actually PvP 
is Selena Rollo. I'm not about to make a montage for two guys. Like, no. And plus, you know, Rollo and Envy, they're, they're actually the cool ones of fucking sound. You, you feel me? Uh, what what else? Uh, yeah, like, so half of these gills don't really pop out at all. Or they die. Like, Sacrament just died. Uh, Threat is legit in the dirt on the back burner. Ominous, no offense to them. They're legit on the back burner now, too. Uh, pretty much every guild that's under Sacred right now is on the back burner. No offense to any of those three guilds. Uh, yeah, it's just... I'm going to try my best to get this content out to y'all. But uh, that's it, guys. Finish watching the video. If you think anything I said is cap, uh, feel free to call me out on it in the comment section. Uh, I will not ban you from the chat like some people do. <laughs> I'm out.